Bread making is a simple process and we can make this delicious bread using only a few basic ingredients in our hands. We'll need some flour, sugar and salt and some milk, egg and butter to add more taste to our bread and yeast as a leavening agent. You can fill it with any of your favorite filling and enjoy those soft and fluffy freshly baked homemade bread. So let's see how to make this wonderful bread in 5 simple steps. The first step is to prepare the dough. For that we need to activate the dried yeast. Yeast always need a sweet and warm environment to bloom up. So here I have taken 130 milliliters of warm milk into which I have added 30 grams of sugar and half a teaspoon of active dried yeast. Stir them well and keep it aside for 5 to 6 minutes for the yeast to get activated. In the meantime, let's measure the dry ingredients. Here I have taken 2 cups of flour. The flour which I have used is unbleached flour. And half a teaspoon of salt. Now our yeast got activated. And let's add one egg into this and whisk them together. And now let's combine the flour and the activated yeast mixture together. And now we need to add 30 grams of softened unsalted butter into this. Then knead the dough for 8 to 10 minutes. The dough may be sticky in the beginning. That's okay. That's the way it should be. But after kneading for 8 to 10 minutes, the texture will change and they won't stick to the vessel. And we need not to be very strict on the measurements while making a bread, but we need to know the consistency of the final dough. We can add one or two tablespoons of flour into the dough if the dough is too sticky. Or if it is too tough, you can add one or two tablespoons of milk or water. The point is that after kneading for 10 minutes, our dough should be soft and supple and elastic enough to withstand all the stretching and puffing later. The softer the dough, the more softer and tastier our bread will be. Now our dough is ready and lightly oil a clean bowl and place the dough inside it and lightly coat it with some oil. So cover it with a plastic wrap and let them rest in a warm environment for 2 to 3 hours or until they have doubled in size. And now our dough has risen well and what we need to do now is to gently degas the dough and turn it on to a lightly floured work surface and let's give us little shapes so that we can divide them and shape the dough. We can shape this dough into any shape that we want to. Here I have rolled them into the shape of regular buns and some of them into the shape of hot dog buns. After this final shaping, we need to let them sit and rise for the second time, that is the second proofing, until they puff, rise and they gain their shape before baking. It may take about 60 minutes. And now they have risen well and they are ready for baking. Bake it at 400 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until they turn golden brown. Mm -hmm. 
Now our buns are ready. They have a beautifully caramelized golden brown crust on top and it smells amazing. Now we need to let them cool down a bit and so let's cover it with a clean towel and wait for 10 more minutes. You can fill these buns with anything that you like, a sweet or savory, butter, jam, chocolate, hot dog, grilled chicken, hummus, or falafel, or anything that you love. They are so soft and fluffy and they are so tasty. And I can promise you that your whole family would love this and your kids will ask you for more and more. I hope this video helped you and I hope you will try this recipe and please let me know how beautiful it turned out for you. And if you like the recipe, please share this with your loved ones and please don't forget to subscribe this channel so that you won't miss any upcoming recipes.